Now, switching gears, and more than two years since the families living around Lake Baringo were displaced by the rising water levels, there is no end in sight to their plight, and hope of them ever returning to their homes is dwindling by the day. After their houses were swallowed by the lake, Baringo waters, and the, they sought refuge in temporary camps on higher grounds, they remain stuck there 26 months later. Mary Mwoki has more. <laughs> Uwanjandege camp on the outskirts of Marigat town on Sunday morning and a church service is underway in this makeshift church. A few of the displaced families are gathered here to worship. Over two years since they fled their homes due to the rise in Lake Baringo waters, the over 150 families here are saying the government has forgotten about their plight and they continue to live under very difficult circumstances. <laughs> Even though the lake waters have greatly receded, most homes and farms remain submerged in water, even as the displaced families express their reluctance to return to their homes, expressing fears that the coming rains may increase the water levels again and condemn them to the same fate. <laughs> Uh, this tattered tent is the only shield from the elements for many of the families living in this camp. Leda says the thin material does very little to keep the night chill away or keep them dry when it rains. They are appealing on the government to come to their rescue and offer a permanent solution to their problems. <laughs> Lake Baringo has expanded by more than double its original size from 128 square kilometers in 2010 to 268 square kilometers by 2020. Even as climate change experts warn that the situation is not likely to improve anytime soon. Mirimoki, Citizen TV. All right, we were telling you earlier on we have an exclusive interview